humanity, humans have put conditions on how much intuition and how much actual connection to the divine that we can have. So it's a mm. conditional pattern that we've been, are, am I good enough? Do I deserve to have that same communication and that same, you know, connection to God? Well, then of course, then Jesus comes, that kind of blows everything out of the water because I mean, all the rules were broken. He wasn't from the right clan to be able to be a priest and he, he wasn't able, you know, so it was like all of these different things that got adjusted. And there was a new way of then being in that divine thing. But then we still also have all of these conditions from society. And so we, we don't, first of all, we're too in a hurry. We don't take time to trust the inner knowing, right? The second thing is our brain has all of these thoughts. And when our heart and our brain are not on the same connection, they're not in the, the, the divine alignment, your heart may be calling you saying, I am so happy and peaceful when I'm like cleaning. It makes me so happy. I feel like things are accomplished. It looks great. Um, and then your mind is like, well, that's not a good enough job for you. Right. Or, or vice versa. Oh yep. my God, I would love to go and be, you know, a surgeon for this specialty or whatever. And they're like, well, you're not from the right neighborhood. Why can you do, you know, and your brain picks up <laughs> those thoughts, right? So, or you're not good enough for that. What makes you think you, you didn't do good in math in third grade. Why do you yeah. think you're good enough to be a surgeon? Right. So like, there's all of these conflicting things. Um, and usually our, our subconscious patterning and what I call in my book, the nasty little mean girl, all the limiting beliefs that come out, they'll override what your heart is calling you to. Yeah. Yeah.